And for the first time since the deadly shooting at City Place Doral, Martini Bar reopened its doors. They held a fundraiser for the security guard who was killed that night, but the victim's family refused to attend. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero is in Doral with how the night went. Tonight, there was no shortage of police officers or security guards here at City Place Doral for the reopening of Martini Bar. But there was a shortage of customers just 12 days after the deadly shooting. Martini Bar reopened their doors to customers, but few of them showed up. Less than two weeks ago, 23-year-old security guard George Castellanos was killed and seven others were injured. The gunman was fatally shot by police. The nightclub hosted what it called a night to support the Castellanos family, saying 100% of the proceeds will go to Castellanos' one-year-old daughter. The co-owner of Martini Bar said in a statement, we have invited George's family and truly hope they come, but understand if they are unable. This is a very difficult time. The nightclub reposted the fundraiser on social media, and a woman who says she's a cousin of the victim responded saying, my family did not approve of this fundraiser for my baby cousin. I would never allow my friends or family to ever step foot into this place again. It is unbelievable that you believe my family would support the place that neglected their duties and caused my cousin to be murdered. Shame on you. Hello. Listen, Martini Bar the Wall, Martini Bar the Wall, shooting, shooting, make a shooting. Martini Bar the Wall. Twelve days after the shooting that closed their doors, Martini Bar reopened to a small crowd and empty sofas. A civil lawsuit is being filed in this case. We should learn more details Friday afternoon after a news conference. At City Place Doral, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.